Hello, my name is Paul Yoder, field agronomist for Pioneer. It's hard to believe it's spring, but we've had some really good weather and we've been blessed from that standpoint to get a fair amount of crop in. And so soon, some of you may be out walking your fields, in particular soybean fields, and trying to figure out what your population is. So in today's video, I just wanna share with you some things that you may wanna consider when you're out there scouting your soybeans. So back in the day when I was younger, I used to go to the garage and I'd find my kids hula hoop, throw it in the back of the truck and head out to the field, which was all great. But once I got out to the field, you always had to know the conversion factor based on the size of your hula hoop as to determining your population. So personally, I feel like the hula hoops have come and gone. Most growers have a tape measure in their truck. However, if you don't and you have a smart mobile device, more than likely you have a measurement app on that device that's actually pretty accurate. If you don't have it, I encourage you to download it because you'll usually always have your mobile device with you when you're out there in the field. Anyway, what you wanna do when you come out to a soybean field is remember one ten thousandths of an acre. So 21 inches in 30 inch rows is one ten thousandths of an acre. Now in soybeans, as you can imagine, 21 inches is not that long really and you can have a lot of variability. So I like to double that to 42. So in 30 inch rows, you're gonna to wanna to go out there and count the number of plants in 42 inches. In 15 inch rows in 42 inches, you're gonna to wanna to count on both sides of the tape and divide by two and then take that number times 10,000. In seven and a half inch rows, you're gonna to wanna to count four rows in that 42 inches and go through the same process. So let's take a look at what we have here in this particular field that's 15 inch. Okay, so I'm out in this field of 15 inch rows and I have measured off 42 inches as you can see. So we're gonna take a stand count and see what we got for population. Well, there you have it. That's the easiest way I know to share with you how to take populations of your soybean crop. Always remember to try to take more than just a couple of stand counts. So as you go across your field, take multiple stand counts, and that's gonna give you a pretty good average of what your population is for that farm. Pioneer does have the largest drone fleet in the world. And with that, we have what we call a stand count report that will actually fly a field of corn in particular and will give you a very nice report in a matter of minutes. Before the drone lands, we'll be able to send off to you a finalized detailed population of that field. It's the most amazing thing that I've ever seen. And it's something that if you have questions or you wanna see what your population is, don't hesitate to call any of us here at Pioneer or in particular, some of your Pioneer reps may have this same software. So don't hesitate to ask them to come fly your fields. Thank you. Again, please be safe, take care, and call if you need anything. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.